Hello YouTube, Matt here with another workbench video or instruction video for NEM Pockets. You can see in front of us today we have a Backman uh, made in Hong Kong a bogey bolster wagon. Uh, this is quite an early one, so it's got the old spring type uh, tension lock. Uh, you can see on this end here, the old original type. Now these just unclip from the underside uh, quite simply so you can work on it quite easily. Um, this has been sent in by a customer who asked if I had anything in particular for it, which I don't. Um, but I have designed some other pockets to fit on this which is similar and along other lines of other rolling stock and locomotives I've been working on. So it's been quite a straightforward uh, thing to do. Um, these won't be available as of yet, um, as you're watching. Um, we've had hardly any sales over the summer months and new items haven't been selling and various other bits and pieces haven't been selling either. So we're taking quite a, a cautious approach to the future as no one's got any money to spend on hobbies at the moment. So we have some samples here. These are the two pockets uh, which I've created. They may differ slightly if they ever go on sale. Um, KDs, you can use KD17s for this, um, which I have already on this end as you can see. Um, as I've always mentioned, the problem is space. Um, with these bogies being quite small, space is quite limited to fit them, so you have to have a little bit of compromise. So what tools do you need for this? Well, it's quite simple really. A couple of files, so just a needle file will be fine. I need some cutters. These are just some standard uh, cheap Xurons. Um, you'll also need fiberglass or some sort of abrasive brush to uh, create a good surface to glue onto. And also you need your aerodite as well to glue the couplings on with. I would recommend the cutting disc for this as there's quite a bit of cutting to do. Um, if you have a vernier gauge even better, um, so you can measure it up properly and fit it properly. Um, but with that said, we'll get on with this and uh, show you what to do. So first things first, we need to get the bogey off. So it's just simply a clip in. You can pull and it separates. Put the wagon to one side. Now, as you can see, this has an old tension lock which has got a spring on the underside, so we need to remove uh, that. You can just either pull or push it, and hopefully, it will pop out. They always fall out and they never really want to come out. So, hook out. Now you might want to keep the spring for something. Not quite sure what. I've got some pliers, so you might want to add some pliers to your list of items you need. Can't even get that out. Dear me. Right. There we go. It's actually secured in there quite tightly. Second thing you need to do is to take the wheels out so you don't damage the wheel set. Put them to one side. So you've got a nice area to work in without damaging anything else. You need to remove this little housing here for the spring. Um, now I just use some cutters for that. I just cut it so it's nice and flush. And you can file it down afterwards. I okay, I've got rid of most of that. File that down. Okay, so the next step after removing the spring and the tension hook is basically trimming down uh, the part where the coupling was or is. Um, so this bit's going to be a little bit um, fragile or delicate to do. Um, so, firstly, we need to remove the coupling bar. Um, I recommend these. Cutters, which are quite cheap, 
neurons. So quite easily we'll snip this off. So a bit of here, a bit of here. Of course we've got a bit of overhang here, but it doesn't really matter at the moment because that'll be removed anyway later on. Now the fragile bit is obviously where the coupling hook used to be. So around here, but more so underneath, which has all been trimmed off and cleaned up. Now obviously we need a channel down the middle uh, for the pocket to fit into and to be at the right height. And as you can see there's not much material uh, on this side due to the hole size. Um, so what I would recommend doing in the future is not to remove all this underneath just yet. Um, in fact leave it until afterwards because it keeps this reasonably stable. But because I've been a bit uh, gun-ho, I suppose you could say, I'll have to deal with it as I go. So I will cut a channel down here and I've marked off this section here. You can probably just about see in the light. Here we go. Uh, there's two lines there. So this bit needs to be removed, leaving you with this backwards. I think it's about 9.5 millimeters. I think it is. Um, if not, just use your NEM pocket, which has sort of a stopper. Uh, this one is a prototype, so it's not quite long enough, so it needs another millimetre on. But this stopper at either end um, will go and stop against this flat surface here. So you need to cut a channel down the centre. Use your pocket so you can measure it up and score it out if you wish. Um, and then you need to cut a channel down the centre and also into this panel here um, so actually the pocket will go back far enough and I've designed it so it will go back far enough that it won't foul the axle um, so what I'll do is I'll remove this piece of plastic with a disc cutter then I'll mark out where the pockets will fit into so I'll be cutting a channel here and then going into this part here. Um, so I'll cut that out, file it and clean it up and then we'll be back again to show you. Okay, so you join me back. Uh, you can see I've managed to survive the uh, cutting disc on the left or your right or my right hand side. Um, so that bit's still attached, that's fine. As you can see I've cut the channel down the middle and into uh, into the top of the bogey itself that's a, a millimeter and a bit maybe two um, and as you can see just do a small trial fit with the pocket that fits in there quite nicely still needs a little bit of filing on this side but uh, overall it looks pretty good once I've got it, it nicely in the center which at the moment it isn't uh, then I can uh, then glue it together. So to glue it, I'll be using some arrowdite as always. Uh, just take the shine off the plastic with a fiberglass uh, a brush, just to clean up the surfaces, etc. So do that, add the glue, and try and clamp it into place. And uh, hopefully it'll all dry. And once it's dry, here's what I've done earlier on this wagon. I turn it over you can see there I've done some filling around here as well so it creates a bit of a better um, join. But you can see the coupling and the prongs don't come anywhere near the axle but there's plenty of uh, margin just in case. Uh, this is a KD17 on this one and uh, it's at the right height. I've already checked it. Um, but I will glue the other one together and uh, come back to you when it's ready for checking and height testing. Alrighty, so on the other workbench with the height gauge, just going to roll it up and have a look. Looks pretty good to me, that's perfect. Absolutely spot on. So this is all ready to go back to its owner and uh, hopefully one day it will be available to the general public. Uh, when sales start picking up again. Thanks for watching, hope you 
enjoyed this video uh, give us some mentions or comments and likes and uh, you can find all this on the made me websites vectors 3d models or on facebook see you soon